I want to start this off by apologizing. I have not done a vlog in a hella long time. But here's the thing. My computer is like not doing so hot right now. It can't edit the footage that I take because I do it so much. So I got to buy a new computer and I don't know when this vlog is going to be up, but it will be up at some point soon. Ish. Anyway, right now I am headed to see Maddie. Remember her? Also, my student film that I did last spring is in the Envision Film Festival. Pretty much, this is gonna be a dope weekend and I can't wait to have some fun. Before I head to the airport, it's dinner with the old man. I gotta say, the TSA pre-check prime. Took me about three minutes. Okay, so I was going out to eat with my dad, and I brought my camera along because that's what I do. And he made a joke about how that's the, what, the way the world has come to. Okay, yeah, whatever. But as we were walking out of Panera, two very nice young ladies came up to me, and they asked me if I was a vlogger. And I said, yeah, why? And they said that they had seen me on YouTube. I don't know if it's true or not. Don't actually think that they have. But for just a split second there, I felt amazing. Just for the fact that somebody had seen my work, cared enough about it to remember me, and then stopped me on the street. I thought it was so cool. Here's the thing though, I am terrible when it comes to being interrupted. I love talking to people, I love relating with people, but I am so bad at switching right on the spot, mainly because I have ADD. This happens with like waitresses and waiters when they come up to the table and I'm having a conversation, I'm telling a story. See, I'm a, I'm a storyteller, and so if I'm in the middle of a story, it's just really hard for me to stop. So I come off as extremely rude. So girls, if you do actually watch these vlogs, I'm sorry. I probably seemed really rude to you. I'm very sorry. You're awesome. Leave a comment below so that I know it was you. If you actually did recognize me and if it actually was me or if you mistake me for somebody else, it doesn't really matter because what it did for me was give me an extra jolt or bump to keep doing this. Whether, you know, I, I don't have that many followers on YouTube and I don't really care because I'm creating something. I'm, I'm having fun doing what I love to do. And the fact that somebody recognized me on the street or even just saw the fact that I had a camera and wanted to say hey, that felt good. And I think it's just so amazing how just something simple like that, even if it was a mistake, can give somebody such a bump in their life. So I guess that would be more of my encouragement. Make those comments. It doesn't matter what you say. If it's gonna make somebody feel good, say it anyway. I got about two hours before my flight even boards. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll figure something out. Remember last time when I said that I didn't want to go to the airport without sunglasses again because I'm a people watcher? I don't want people to be able to see that I'm watching them. Now I got them. And let me tell you, I'm people watching. Can you see how it's safe for the Jumbo flight to Dolphin? I want to demonstrate the oxygen mask and Zipa operation for you. The flight is freaking tiny. It feels sick because I'm rocking back and forth. Seconds. Make sure this is the right car. You're real! Hello! 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs>